<laughs> You've got mail. Oh, I got mail. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's from my boss. Ugh, I have, I'm on call at the hospital. I have to come in. Ugh, it's six o'clock at night. You think they would have waited? You think they would have asked somebody else at the last minute? They know I have a daughter. Well, I guess Chris is old enough to stay by herself. Better go talk to her. <sighs> Krista? Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Listen, I hate to do this. I know we were going to spend the evening together, but I just got a call from work, and they say I have to come in overnight. Overnight? Well, I told them I'd be in in a couple of, for a few hours because I had you to take care of. Do you think you can manage on your own? Sure, Mom. I'll be fine. Okay, remember the rules. I don't want you inviting anyone in the house. Yes, I won't. Okay, and the emergency numbers are by the phone. Got it. And if there's a fire or police, I got it, Mom. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes, Mom, I'm sure. I'll be fine. I'm not a little kid anymore. I know you're not. I'll, I'll be back in a few hours, and I expect to see you in bed in, by the time I get home. Okay, Mom. Okay. Good night, sweetie. I love you. I love you, too. No, maybe a quick nap is a good idea. It's my phone. Hold on, phone. I'll get you. Beep. Hello? Hello? Don't open the door. Who is this? What's your favorite scary movie? Look, whoever this is, you stop harassing me. I'm going to hang up now, as if you didn't know I was. <sighs> Stupid prank callers. <sighs> Maybe I'll go on my computer. The prank caller kind of is shook enough. <sighs> Ding dong. Now what's going on? Mom, I thought you were out working. Mom, are you going to say something or just sit there? And it's raining out. We should get you inside. Get off of me. You're not my mom. What did you do to my mom? I am your mom, but you have a new mom now. I look like your mom, but I'm not your mom. You're really scaring me, Mom. Stop. Very good. You called me Mom. Get inside. Here, let me help you. I said not to touch me. Get inside and I'll deal with you. Okay. I don't know what I did, but I'll, okay. Get in your room. Or you die. Okay. Oh my god, I gotta email my friends about this. Oh my god. Hey! Did I say you could play on your computer? I'm just emailing some friends, Mom. Give me that computer. What are you doing? That laptop is expensive. You should know you bought it for me. Shut up. Why are you acting like this, Mom? Why are you acting like this? I'm not your real mother. 
Where is my real mom then? She's in a place where not even the crows can land their droppings on her. What did you do with her? Your mother is up there. What? You mean you? That's right. I killed her. And now you're going to have to live with me. Rotten kid. I'll be in the kitchen making a dinner. I'll make your favorite, lima bean casserole. I hate lima bean casserole. Well, that is just too bad, isn't it? I'm your new mom, and I'm saying you got to do what you say. Do what I say. Do what I tell you to do, or you're going to be killed, too. Okay, I'll do whatever you want. Good. First thing I'm going to do is eat my casserole. Okay. That's a good little girl. And no phone calls or computer. You sit in your room and be quiet, understand? Yes, Mom. Better not catch you on the computer or on your phone. Oh, my God. I'm like a prisoner in my own house. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Dream. Krista? Oh no, it wasn't a dream. Krista, are you okay? <laughs> Mom, I'll do whatever you want, just don't kill me. What are you talking about? Are you my real mom? Yes. What's the matter? <sighs> Nothing, I just had a horrible nightmare. Honey, you're, you look terrified. Tell me about it. Well, oh, I was, first I was getting prank phone calls, then doorbell rang, and you were there, only it wasn't you. Well, that makes sense. What I mean is that it was you, like it was your body, but it was somebody evil inside, and she said she was going to kill me if I didn't do what she said, and it was so scary. Honey, it's okay. I'm right here. Please don't leave me home alone again, please. I'm scared. Well, it's a good thing our shift ended early. You mean they didn't need you anymore? No, they called someone else when I kept telling them I had a girl at home who probably wouldn't be comfortable being by herself, even though she, sh even though that's not what she showed. I could tell you, I could see the fear in your eyes when I left. You're too smart, Mom. Hey, I'm your mother. I'm supposed to be. Now, are you all right? Yeah, just a little shaken up, but I'm fine. Okay, well, it's five o'clock now, so how about I fix, you, fix us some dinner? Sounds good. But I thought you left at six. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant it's nine o'clock. Did you eat anything yet? No. All right, I'll fix us something to eat, okay? Okay. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'll let you know when dinner's ready. Okay.